Harriman expedition decided to stop at Cape Fox Village. The whole entire crew of the expedition got off and they decided that they would um, start digging up totem poles. In 1991, President Bush, number one, formed the Native American Graves Protection and Repatriation Act which allows Native um, groups and tribes to get artifacts back from museums across the nation. The management at the time of Cape Fox said, well, here's a book um, of the, you know, Harriman Expedition. See if there's any artifacts that we can get back that belong to the Cape Fox people. Eventually, we tracked down um, almost every single piece that the Harriman Expedition had taken. Some of those pieces have a story that a clan owned that explained the history of their clan from time immemorial. It was hard to understand why would people just dig it up and, and take it with them. And so a lot of us were upset. The people started realizing the Harriman Expedition t taking those pieces, they were still around for us in 2001. You know, if they were still left in the village, you know, um, the totem poles, you know, would have fell down and went back to the earth. And, you know, we identified a lot of history from that, you know, project that, you know, we are able to now tell the, the history to our, you know, our children, um, now to, you know, grandchildren. The ceremony that we had in 2001 was called the 100 Years of Healing. Even the Herman family, we, um, the great, great niece, she brought her husband and her, her baby. We ended up um, doing a ceremony and she gave a quilt, I believe it was from 1813 or something like that, that her family had made and said, you know, we apologize. And we accepted it. It put a closure to, you know, the whole feeling like things were stolen, you know, we could now move on.